Hey, what's up everybody? Tobin here, 5M Family Homestead Channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to treat wooden fence posts with motor oil. So guys, I recently did a video showing you how to treat trailer deck boards with motor oil. It did really well. If you want an update on how the trailer's doing, stay tuned to the end of this video. I'll show you how it's doing. So we have several wooden fence posts on our property. A lot of them have been here probably since this uh, home was put here and they're all starting to deteriorate badly and they need to be repaired. But since we moved in, we put in some newer ones and those need to be treated to prolong the life of them. So I'm gonna show you how to do it real quick, super easy. So guys, all y'all gonna need is three things. In my last video, people pointed out that you could do this with a pump sprayer. Um, I don't have an extra pump sprayer. I don't wanna spend the money on one. All that I have here, I already had, so it's no extra cost to me. Um, so paintbrush, some rubber gloves, and obviously some motor oil. All right, y'all, we're gonna start out with these two fence posts right here next to our garden entrance. All right, y'all, so the first thing I'm gonna start out doing is just pouring motor oil directly on top of this post and let it absorb in. <clears throat> this is, a, is an open part of the wood and it gets a lot of rain and the rain absorbs into it and it's gonna start rotting right here uh, right here and down at the bottom are the two places it's gonna start rotting the quickest. trying to help it, help it stay on top there and absorb in. So guys, I think I got plenty up there on top. Uh, so I'm just gonna use this paintbrush and paint down the sides. If you did have a little pump sprayer at depth and you were doing you know, a lot, um, that would probably speed things up quite a bit. Uh, but again, we're just gonna do the old, old paintbrush, nothing. All right, y'all, one down, one to go. I put a lot of extra down here at the bottom, around there. Like I was saying, the, the top there and then the bottom, in my opinion, are probably gonna take the most water on. 
Um, if you were to have a wooden H brace um, where the, the piece that goes uh, horizontal and ties in to the post, um, at that spot you get a lot of water in there as well. So if you're doing an H brace, you want to get those areas really good as well. All right, let's do the next one. All right, y'all, done with these two. We got a couple more down here I need to do next to our pig pen, but we got three pigs in there right now and they're probably pushing 200 pounds and it's not fun to go in there unless you absolutely have to. So you gotta fight them off. So I'm not gonna do that now. I'll wait until this fall when we're, we don't have any pigs and we'll uh, get in there and take care of those. But, you know, if you're planning on living on your property for a long time, um, you know, not having to replace posts um, down the road, you know, a little bit of um, work now save you a lot of time down the road and those posts right there will be here for you know I, I bet 30 40 50 years even so it, it's worth a little bit of time the motor oil was free just recycling it reusing it and uh, just a little bit of time to do it so I told y'all I would give y'all an update on my trailer so let's go over there and check it out all right y'all I treated this trailer deck I don't know a month or so back and it's had plenty of time to absorb the oil and I was out here about two weeks ago we had a really heavy rain and that water was just beating and pooling on there and none none of it was absorbing into the wood at all it's kind of lost the smell as well so on that video I mixed um, a jug the same size of motor oil it was completely full that jug was about half full when I started mixed the entire jug with a gallon of diesel to make it go farther and spread easier on that trailer deck uh, this time I just went with straight motor oil um, you, you know if you wanted to if you had a lot of a lot of posts to do you could definitely add some diesel to it to just thin it out and make it go farther all right guys I hope this video was helpful if it was do me a huge favor follow subscribe leave a comment hit the like button thumbs up button just helps our videos get seen more helps us out um, helps us get uh, uh, our videos get shown to a bigger audience so thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you all again